Банде Гуру Пададандам Бхакта Бинду Саманитам Шри Чайтанна Прабхум Банде Нитананда Саходитам Си Нанда 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 Банде Радхика Чарна Даян Гопияна Самаюктам Бинда Ванча калпатару вашеки пасинду бевече. Патитанам пабуне бовишна бебью. Наму нама. Мукам кароти бачалам пангунгам хайтигири. Джатки патамахам бачати параманандамадва. Кришна Бхакти Паде Деви Шатта Батвай Наму Нама Нараян Намаскитта Нарунчай Унаратам Девин Сарасвати Нивасам Тату Джайо Мудире Санкитане Кришна Пату Пудеши Гаурия Патрасша Пракаса Нича Садану Рапта Гуру Бхакти Джукта Бхакти Памадакша Джагодхарам, Дейям Сада Бари Бхагавана Бабишту Духам, Петхас Падам Сива Веренчану Там Сараньям, Бетати Хам Панутопал Бхавадипутам, Банде Махапурушате Чарана Рабиндам, Ядпад Паллавана Хачандамани Чатай. Биспуржи, так не бига по воду, швадерши. Пурна, нурагра, сусагра, сара, мути. Сара, дика, микада, кипана, кирус. Сри, кишна, чайтана, пухунита, ананда. Сиаддай, тогада, дарасива, садихи, гаура, бхакта, винда. Сри, кишна, чайтана, пухунита, ананда. Шиаддайте вала, дарасива сади, гаура бхакта винда. Хари, кишна, хари, кишна, 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 хари, 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 Аджану ламбита бхуджоу канака бодатам, санке тану и капитару камула ятакшо, вишам бару дижа бару югадарму палу, банде ягатрия кару, каруна бодару, хари кишна, хари кишна, 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 хари, хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари Хари. Намами Ганге Тава Пад Панкаджам, Сура Сурайр Вандито Дибгарупам, Аван рупе на сада на ранам, Ганга таранга рамания джата калапам, Гори ниранта рабигуши табам багам, Нараяну приямана Баги саджушу бадани, лакшмир джаса чабакшаси, джаса астихида самбихид, твам нишинга махам хаджи. Харе Кришна, Харе Кришна, 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 Харе Харе. Харе Рам, Харе Рам, Рам Рам, Харе Харе. 
निखिल श्रुति मौली रत्नमाला दूती निराजी तो पाद पंखजांत ऐ मुक्त गोलैर पासमान परिस्तम हरिना संश्रयामी निखिल श्रुति मौली रत्नमाला दूती निराज तो पाद पंखजांत ऐ मुक्त गौरैर पश्यमान परिस्तम हरिना संश्रया गौरिय गोष्ठीपति गौरिय गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू डू हरि नाम एंड टू टू स्टे एंड टू मीट विद हरि इज ऑल द सेम गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू डू हरि नाम एंड टू मीट विद हरि इज ऑल द सेम अनर्थ इफ इट इज देयर इन साइड अस शुद्ध हरि नाम इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू दैट्स वाई the first shlok which i told of the naam ashtakam what rup ko swami pad has written rup ko rup ko swami pad has written that naam ashtakam in that shlok it is written it is written there no rup to kole re pasamana what does it mean If normal person will definitely be thinking negatively because mukti this uh, this word actually mukti the meaning is only in this version of uh, jagat in this version of world it is there otherwise in other sampradha it uh, normal people don't know to get out of maya if that person is going out of maya that version of in this the western world what the vichar is there in this after maya when you are crossing that there can be some trouble prabhupada actually speaking a very uh, uh, unique word that whatever is there that money power by body speech and mind everything you have to give in the service of bhagwan that is actually called mukta to do service by body speech and mind of bhagwan what rup ko swami pad has written what shila rup ko swami pad has written mukt ko le rupa se manam what is the exact meaning prabhupad has given this you can understand that word that mahaprabhu actually speaking having that to be pralam bhav inside his heart he was crying um, what shlok he was speaking that sanskrit shlok during the time of rath yatra at uh, during the type of jagannath yatra rath yatra mahaprabhu actually just that done that kirtan in front of jagannath yatra rath yatra during that that shloka when coming from his mouth nobody can understand that shloka only shila rup ko swam shila swarup ko ko swami and by the top most lak shila rup ko swami pad and by the mercy of gorang mahaprabhu at that time immediately Uh, he was there with mahaprabhu shilu shila swarup ko swami and shila rup ko swami both and so with this that shila rup ko swami this mukt kul rupa samanam who is that what is this mukt kul that shila bhakti sidan saraswati ko swami thakur has just described this that by your body speech and mind everything what you have you just give it in the serving uh, in the service of bhagwan that is actually mukt so deep meaning is there inside this like prabhupad has written prana chijar sehit prachar pran hai if the if you have life then only you can do preaching agar pran if there is life inside you what you are speaking i don't have any life maharaj yes life is there but this life actually this this not actually vastavik life actual life that's why prabhupada actually is uh, written question of k in his kirtan one verse he has written what is this pran what is this life bhakti no thakur has actually has just uh, manifested in front of us that the bhakt bhakt life is actually sharanagati if there is no sharanagati then nothing is there 
Sharnagati is the vital office, the backbone of bhajan. If it is not there, then everything is destroyed. Prabhupada actually speaking that by body, speech and mind, everything what has given for the service of Bhagavan, that he is actually mukt. Actually mukt, the word meaning of this uh, word mukt, he is actually mukt. If he is doing, have some partial exchange, be careful. If somebody is actually doing some partial exchange, he is, uh, he is doing some partial exchange with Bhagavan or Guru Vaishnav, or Guru Vaishnav. He is doing some partial exchange. Then definitely you will not get that uh, topmost mangal in your life. You will not be getting that with partial exchange. Okay, I have given something to Guru Vaishnav. Now what to do? There is actually partial by partial exchange, Prabhupada speaking. That with partial exchange, your uh, topmost mangal will not get open. That pathway will not get open. Nam bhajan actually is the topmost of all the sadhana. I will definitely discuss this point. Definitely I will discuss that Nam Bhajan is the topmost. Why? Because Nam Bhajan, inside Nam Bhajan everything is there. I have already told you this point that all those Paramahans Guru Vaishnav, they are pure Guru Vaishnav. They are actually, no, uh, they are having Ruchi in Nam Bhajan only. And the other uh, limbs of Bhakti, other, other limbs of Bhakti, what they are having, they don't have that much Ruchi in that. But Nam Bhajan, they have topmost Ruchi in that. Why? Because Nam Bhajan, he is getting everything in that. Everything is getting in Nam Bhajan. He is getting Bhagwan's uh, Nam by Bhagwan's name, by his roof, qualities, characteristics, everything. At partial, everything he is getting in, in total, he is getting. If he is doing some other uh, limb of Bhakti, you have to do the other limb of Bhakti. If somebody is saying that you, I have to just follow the other limb of Bhakti, somebody speaking, then what you have to do? Then, if you want to follow other Bhakti Yang, then then he has to do under the guidance of Nam Bhajan. He has, he, without the Anugatya of Nam, he don't have to do that limb of Bhakti. He has to do the Anugatya of Nam. There is no other pathway open. Means that Nam Bhajan is the topmost and as is the topmost pathway and apart, uh, apart from that nothing is topmost. Uh, I will just be speaking one to two shlok in regard to this. I can't uh, re remember all the time, but still I am just remembering it sometimes. Today I am remembering. So, Jeeva Goswami Pad actually writing. Jeeva Goswami Pad actually writing. Yesterday I just spoken two to three lines. I have already spoken that two to three lines. Etc. I have already told yesterday. What does it mean actually? It means that before that before I have already told when the Nam is just getting uh, when our heart is contaminated to speak Harinam it is not at all possible. I will give you one example so that you can understand that I will give you one example that uh, there is one uh, one in Balmiki Ramayan who has written that Balmiki Muni has written Balmiki Ramayan in Balmiki Ramayan the Malmiki Muni actually he has some so done so much sinful activities before every day he has to murder every someone he has done lot of uh, sinful activity he has done 
and uh, he has just uh, become unemployed. He has this, this is his only work to just um, murder and just used to take his money and just used to eat like this. So sinful activities that uh, hills of uh, sinful activities were made. And when he just met with Naraji Maharaj, Naraji actually told, you see, you are doing so much sinful activities, you just have to uh, face the result of this. So why you, I will face the sinful activities result? Actually, all those, uh, my relatives will also take them. No, actually, Naraji speaking, you have to take your own karamphal on your own. Your relatives will not take that. Whatever good or bad uh, uh, karm you are doing, definitely that fruit, fruitative activity, he has to uh, get the result of that. And you also have to get that individually. So, what happened? He, by the grip of Naraji Maharaj, Balmaki Muni, Naraji Maharaj actually speaking, you just actually leave everything and you just doing do Ram Nam. But this Ram Nam actually it's not coming on his tongue, Balmaki Muni. It is not at all coming on his tongue. How he can do Ram Nam? He has done so much sinful activities that he was doing Mara 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 Mara. So like this, for Ram is not possible to speak. That's why he's speaking Mara. Naraji is speaking, okay, you speak, you go on speaking Mara, 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 Mara. So like that, think automatically, Ram word actually, it's coming. That Nama Bhas, by that Nama Bhas, that infinity life and sinful activities that already got destroyed, everything. After that, he has become so topmost Muni, so topmost Sadhu that you can't even imagine. Harinam can do anything. That's why Harinam is called Chintamani. That's why Harinam is called Chintamani. That's why Harinam is called Chintamani in the Shastras. And apart from nothing. So that's why it is called Chintamani and uh, Jeev Goswami Path has uh, written the shloka. Lot of uh, shloka, I have just spoken one shloka only. Like I have told previously about the Lakshahira pros. Now I will be today. This Chintamani, there is one Vilma Manga Thakur, uh, uh, one uh, Chintamani that uh, Pros used to go, Vilma Manga Thakur used to go to her and after that her, uh, his whole life was just changed. You see the actual Prabhava of Nam. In the Shastra also it is written that uh, the person actually can't do any that much sinful activity this uh, as compared to the power of uh, that one Harinam has that much power that chief can't do that much sinful activities I will definitely be talking about this slowly steadily so why I have told you that uh, Nam Bhajan is topmost because in Nam actually all the Bhajan is there inside there secretly First, uh, actually, if your heart is not contamin is not, not uh, free from contamination, it is very important to speak this point that firstly you have to uh, 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 get free from contamination of your heart, and before that, to do Shuddha Harinam, it's not possible to do. So, when our heart is clear, it is very much important. It is necessary to do. If our, when our heart is clear, it is, when it is uncontaminated, is not contaminated at all, after that, that the Roop Katha, the Swaroop, the Swaroop of Bhagwan. When we then we will be hearing the Swaroop of Bhagwan after that. Then before that we can't understand that. Like like Vyasdev Goswami. That is the the topmost asta he has on 
दैट इज सुखदेव गोस्वामी सुखदेव गोस्वामी एक्चुअली आफ्टर द बर्थ वेन ही वॉज सिक्सटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड ही वॉज जस्ट इन द इन दूम ऑफ हिज मदर एंड आफ्टर दैट ही जस्ट वेंट टू द फॉरेस्ट वेन ही हेज टेक ऑन द बर्थ ही जस्ट वेंट टू द फॉरेस्ट एंड ही वॉज नॉट इवन सींग हु इज इज मदर एंड फादर ही डोंट वॉन्ट टू हियर एंड सी हु इज माई मदर एंड हु इज माई फादर ही जस्ट वेंट टू द फॉरेस्ट एंड बट वेन देन व्यासदेव जस्ट वेंट टू जस्ट टेक हिम टू द बैक टू हाउस वाई व्यासदेव को स्वामी जस्ट टेक हिम बैक टू कम बैक वाई टू जस्ट just to just to by by the just by just two shlokas of uh, the kirtan of bhagwan i just want to speak that that this one disciple of uh, vyasdev actually one disciple of vyasdev actually which actually vyasdev has taught some you just don't don't do anything where actually he is there in uh, brahma chintan you just need to uh, do this uh, shloka one to two shloka this shloka in front of sukhdev ko swami visham bhayanti chamalam namna venu rodar sudaya pura yano gopo bendai vinda nam sapada ramana pravisha gitu kiti esoko pa do this shlok you just uh, speak in front of him kutam jivan saya apayaya chattapi ashanti leve gotim dhatu chitam tato anyam kanga kanga dayalum sharanam bhajam so of one about the swarup and one about the qualities of krishna the roop the swarup of bhagwan and the other shloka is about the qualities what he has told sukhdev ko swami was speaking uh, that i was there in uh, brahm established in brahm before i was established in brahm you see He was actually speaking on his own so Sukhdev was on his path. Great Uttam, Lelaya, Uttam Sukhdev. That previously I was there established in Nirgun Brahma. But after that, they have just taken me out of that, and I just got the taste of Nam Gun of Bhagwan. Prabhupada always used to speak. Be careful about this. Nam Nam, Roop Nam, Gun Nam. लीला नाम परिकर नाम वैशिष्ट नाम ऑल दिस एक्चुअली दिस इज एक्चुअली नेम वेन भगवत प्रवचन इज गोइंग ऑन एवरीथिंग इज गोइंग ऑन वन बाय वन कंजर्वेटिवली नाम इज ऑल्सो नाम एंड इज रूप इज ऑल्सो नाम बाय 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 वॉट इज द रीजन एंड रूप इज ऑल्सो नाम रूप कैन बी नाम येस रूप इज नाम इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड टू टू थ्री डेज बैक वेन एवर वेन एवर यू आर स्पीकिंग एनी वर्ड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज जस्ट टू इंडिकेट सम विषय सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट थिंक दैट मटीरियल वर्ड इज यूज what ever word you are actually using in this material world any object or anything or any person in order to understand that that material word is used but that object what we are actually using that word it is actually there is one gapping of maya with that object but i have already told it previously that when the with the name of bhagwan and with the roop of bhagwan and with the parikar vishesh whatever is there and with tham everything bhagwan is not different from that what you want to speak actually what is the name of bhagwan and the dham naam that vrindavan that is don't different from bhagwan bhagwan sir bhagwan lila bhagwan is lila it is not different from bhagwan bhagwan swarup is not different from bhagwan and his qualities and characteristics are not different from bhagwan even the bhagwan devotees are also not different from bhagwan that's why bhagwan ka vishay mein in the vishay of bhagwan parikar naam leela naam vish ye bolne se all this there is no by speaking like this there is no fault in it in actuality is actually the truth this is an absolute thing that's why the bhagwan naam leela naam and his roop naam gun naam parikar naam whatever is there in naam bolaya this is actually called naam mahaprabhu bhagwan ka jo naam hai the gorang mahaprabhu's name 
that is non different from mahaprabhu himself i have just given one example regarding this as well when madhavendra puri pad actually was just crying ho oh, vrindavan ha mathura nath with that vrindavan is there present eternally present there and mathura nath is also there bhagwan that infinity prabhav there should uh, there can be some doubt and suspicion about that in our mind why because we don't know what is bhagwan what is what object is bhagwan what thing is bhagwan we don't know at all that's why actually inside us there can be some uh, questions and uh, questions and doubts about that why because whatever our experience is that is called material experience whatever we have experienced in our life this is all a material experience so we are on the basis of material experience whatever if someone actually speaking definitely immediately that a material experience bank it is there or we have we will be searching it yes yes actually i have done this i have done this like this we that experience bank and what is not there in our ex, in our experience then we will be just thinking that okay this is actually a far from material world so you don't have anything to do and our achintya was too it is there so bhagwan his roop naam gun naam parikar naam vishesh everything is just integrated to him even the that achintya prabhav of bhagwan is so much that whatever the sense organ or organ of bhagwan whatever the sense organ is there of bhagwan it is can do the work of other sense organ which ever sense organ of bhagwan is there sense organ of bhagwan any sense organ of bhagwan bhagwan can work the work uh, uh, can do the work of other sense organ like with eyes bhagwan can take a uh, prasadam by ears he can just see i can can't understand this why it can't be coming it is not practically practically possible for us to understand but in brahm samhita brahma ji has brahma ji maharaj already what has seen practically he is actually just uh, writing it and is just for our uh, happiness uh, eternal blissfulness brahma ji what have seen practically he is actually putting in front of us and ye jo shlok hai this shlok actually sakalendra vittiman indriyani इंद्रियानी we are all habituated in three dimensions we only know three dimensions length breadth and height but there can be some other brahmand as well where their length breadth height there can can be four dimension five dimensions can be there who knows that we don't know about that okay we are thinking only that three dimensions are there like they are written in the shastras that in surya lok you can go to surya lok how we can go to surya lok uh, you are mad it is so hot that who can go there crores of uh, is at distance is millions of years millions of distance kilometer away and if within 1 to 2 crore mil uh, that person will get vaporized any object will get vaporized how you can go to surya lok it all gone like platinum whether it is made of platinum or whatever it is made of platinum is the uh, topmost melting point is there so it will not stay there so what is our thing confidence is that whatever we have seen practically with our material experience bank which is out of our uh, experience bank that we can't even judge but definitely maybe we can have that confidence when definitely we will get the full grip of guru vishnu so this harinam which is chintamani we should have that full confidence only guru vishnu will uh, imbibe that inside our heart 
otherwise it is not possible to go. If we just uh, having this vichar inside our heart that Surya, in Surya Lok there are the lack of uh, temperature is there. Uh, so hot so what will happen in that in our uh, on this earth there are some jivatma there who has that water body they have water body like uh, Varun Dev and uh, on all the followers of Varun Dev they, they are just uh, living in water they, they have that adaptation to live in water they have that uh, water element body and they have the adaptation of water inside them it can be possible, like crocodile. They can uh, stay in uh, uh, water as well as on the land and tortoise also the same. So this is the actual creation of God, Lord, of Bhagavan. What you can do in that? But it can be done by like, like that he has that Tejmashri, he has that fire element in his body. That, that fire is predominating in him. Like we have that five elements body. In, in some brahmand also there are some person they will not uh, believe how it can be possible that five uh, five elements are there he can't be it will not be possible for him to understand oh, how it is possible it can't be possible so this keep your with these five elements with these five elements our body is made up of that then why we are not uh, actually having that uh, confidence in that that by fire also we have that body. Neither Preta Atma ghost, they have that uh, air body. So if air body can be there, fire body can also be there, water body can also be there. So how it can't be possible that it not, can't be like that? Like, like Pururava. Pururava actually is when he just, Gandharva has just cheated him. Pururava was just uh, speaking Urvashi, Urvashi and just become mad just by speaking her name and after that when all he was just uh, praying to Gandharva actually I just want to go to Urvashi without that ma, I will just uh, die I, I will take I will be suicide take so he was speaking like that and actually he was not because Urvashi is a very topmost thing in the heaven so that's why they haven't given it to Pururava so what to do now? So what they have done that in return of Urvashi, she, she, they have just made a, a very attractive thing just like Urvashi. And he was just playing with this uh, lo with a lot of time and then after that he understand that uh, he was just become foolish by them. He just understand after that he has, uh, it is not Urvashi. So like this you see. This can be done. Like Sita Devi, you have seen, uh, Ravan has just taken her, uh, kidnapped Sita Devi. And uh, Ravan actually, when Mahaprabhu speaking, I am not speaking, Mahaprabhu speaking, that uh, when uh, to all those that Ram devotee, that oh Ram devotee, you hear, why you are actually crying, why actually, actually the, he has just kidnapped my Sita Devi, and actually you are actually mad. Sita Devi actually is a no, normal thing. He is from material world. It is actually Shakti of Bhagavan. Bhagavan Shakti, it is not different from Bhagavan. It is just one kind of drama. Just to, uh, because Ramji has done, it's just kind of one kind of drama, Leela. He is speaking when actually he just came to, Ravan just came to kidnap Sita Devi. At that time, Sita Devi just uh, taken the shelter of Agni Dev. And that shadow Sita was just uh, being there. And that shadow Sita, he has just, and uh, the uh, original Sita was given to Ajni Dev. He was just uh, gone into Agni, original Sita. How it is possible that she just went inside uh, Agni, that uh, she has just, uh, Draupadi has just been born from Agni, fire. How you are not getting that confidence to believe that, and how it is possible to do bhajan. So when actually, at the time of Agni Pariksha, Fire sacrifice, Sita Devi just came out of that and that shadow Sita just get uh, uh, overshadowed. So it can be possible. And it can be possible. So in the Surya Lok, that and that Celsius, that body which is adopted, if you getting that matching body, then why not it is possible that those can, those uh, Jeevas can stay there in Surya Lok. Definitely they can stay. So in the same way, this Bhagwan, especially this is actually the Parichai, that uh, introduction, this is the introduction that 
दैट इन दिस कलिकाल नाम रूप इज इट डजेंट मीन दैट कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली इट इज ऑल इट इज ओनली दैट कृष्ण नाम इज ओनली इफेक्टिव इन कलिकाल इट इज नॉट दैट ऑल दैट इफ इट इज लाइक दैट देन द्रौपदी वेन शी वॉज क्राइंग that i am in uh, trouble you just help me then how krishna just came there krishna actually she called krishna and she krishna came that krishna naam when krishna naam and krishna is non different that's why krishna came there so in the same way this kind of vichar is there that with krishna and krishna naam is krishna naam and krishna himself is non different and this kadikal when we are speaking this we can understand it is not at all good to understand that in only kalikal only bhagwan naam is applicable no it's not like that in every kal in every yuga nidanam brahma shabda dattam jagacharam nivartate artha bhavena prakriya yahatu yatha definitely i will be speaking about this point sometime some days that everything has come from bhagwan bhagwan naam rupe avatar matlab eternal it means that bhagwan naam is eternally present bhagwan name is if it is eternally present if the name of bhagwan is eternally present then it is not to speak like this that especially in kalikal because in kalikal there is no other sadhan bhajan that's why it is written especially in kalikal because other sadhan uh, bhajan you can't do in kalikal so that is the only support in kalikal naam sahara samaro samaro jeev utar hi paara kalikal keval naam adhara the only adhar in this kalikal is naam kalikal keval naam only support on that support only this kalikal is there and otherwise other sadhan is not at all effective why because uh, uh, jiva is weak and he is having that uh, deficiency of protein and vitamin and maybe he is just be doing 2 hours of bhajan after that he will be sleeping if he do so, so fasting then he will be having uh, uh, he will be feeling very unconscious so it is written there but it doesn't mean that uh, in satyug there is no glorification of name no effect of name in treta yoga there is no no effect of name no in every yoga it is there even if in satyug i will just speak about bali maharaj you can just see even that shukracharya also who is actually the king of demons he is actually the guru of demons he is the acharya of demons he also knows that bhagwan glorification of bhagwan's name why when when the yagya was stop at that time vaman 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 dev just came there and lot of uh, other scenarios just came there and that yagya was stop and when the yagya was stopped at that time when uh, at that time at the last time they just got the bali maharaj got purna kripa of vaman dev then shukracharya actually just uh, spring on to lotus feet of vaman dev actually thakur ji you actually just complete this yagya because because your naam actually naam ke dwara by your name only incomplete vastu ko pura kar diya your that incomplete vastu can get complete you see mantatah chittam tantatah sridyam desh kal samarata sarvam nischidyam karati naam sankirtanam tam aakanam se by your naam sankirtan only if so no, if if some fault is there in any sadhana then it can be just get completed when i during the time of yagya gurudev actually speaking that uh, if you are doing uh, yagya then one sadhu actually doing naam sankirtan non stop naam sankirtan should be done by one sadhu why because if some as some uh, incompleteness is there then it can get completed by naam sankirtan that is the actual glorification of naam you see so uh, top most glorification is there of naam that everything can get completed with naam so bhagwan's roop gun and leela gun qualities of uh, leela so this actually quality is actually it is all there in hari naam all in secret form it is there hidden roop 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 naam 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 roop naam gun naam parikar everything is name everything comes in the category of naam why because it is not different from bhagwan and like the roop madhuri of bhagwan i have already given one example 
that at the Himalayas in the mountains of Himalayas, Sukhdev Goswami was there sitting there in Himalayas. And Vyasadev Goswami, one disciple, he just uh, speaking that shloka, and after that uh, hearing that shloka, he is just uh, just getting attraction because whatever he has just uh, spoken, Bhagwan is not different from that shloka. There in one shloka, there is one root of Bhagwan, and he was just uh, speaking that uh, qualities of Bhagwan in the heart of Sukhdev Goswami. That's the root of Bhagwan just got manifested in his heart. You can understand this point. Sukhdev Goswami, in front of him, the, just uh, by hearing that shlok, that uh, that Aprakrishab Bhuram, immediately that Swarupa Bhagwan just got manifested inside the heart of Sukhdev Goswami. This is so uh, surprising to hear this. And after hearing that, after just seeing that, he could not resist himself from running towards the source. This source. From where this Aprakish of Duram is coming? Where it is coming? He was just getting attracted. Why Mahaprabhu actually just going in the forest during when he was going through Charikhand? When Mahaprabhu actually used to do Kirtan, why actually all the tigers, lions, all birds, peacocks, everyone? Uh, elephants who were all actually just going uh, in, uh, in coming uh, in front of Mahaprabhu. Why? Because it is actually attraction towards that Nam Brahma. They are just getting attraction. The, and in Venu Gita also it is written that uh, I'll just give you one one example about the glorification of Nam. You will just become mad. You will not be uh, having that confidence on that. It is written there in Venu Gita also. I have just uh, made it uh, five years back. I have just discussed this about Venu Gita. In English I have discussed four to five years back. It is there. In Venu Gita it is written that uh, these small, small birds actually, small, small birds there and this uh, the calf of a cow, all actually there when they are just uh, just hearing the Vanshi Dhani of Bhagwan, the flute of Bhagwan. After that, after hearing that uh, fluid sound, that Gaumata, that calf of cow, he, he just uh, stopped drinking milk and uh, his uh, whole uh, uh, concentration just goes from where this sound is coming. Why? Because it is written there. When Bhagavan was just uh, doing this Vamshi Dhani, that this Vinumai, very sweet flute sound, this song from the Venu is coming from his flute. This uh, word actually going on, that word is actually Aprakrit Shabd Brahma. In Brahma Samhita also it is written, there lot of examples are there, I will definitely give it later. Lot of slokes are there, there. when Bhagavan actually is doing Vamshi Dvani, that uh, Aprakrit Shabd Brahma is come, Swayam there, Prakatit. It is not different from Bhagavan. So that's why, that's why they are just getting so much attraction towards that, that uh, the calf also uh, stopped taking milk from the cow and he is just uh, focusing and getting attracted towards that uh, Shabd, because that Shabd is very attractive, his concentration just gone there, so much attraction is there, so it is actually natural. That is not a big thing that Sukhdev Goswami Padi has just got attracted to this shloka. That Bhagavan has so much uh, good, so much characteristic and qualities that in anyhow they will, everyone will get attracted to that. So you see that just by hearing these two shlokas uh, onto the lotus feet of Krishna he is getting attracted and Sukhadeva Goswami he was just running towards that exact source from where that shlok is coming. From that, from where that Aprakre Shabda Brahm, because it is a Aprakre Shabda Brahm. So, Bhagavan, whatever is there, it is all non different from Bhagavan. Uh, I have already told previously, sometimes back, that it is very surprising that whatever uh, sense organ of Bhagavan can do the work of other sense organs. 
and in the time of 12 to 12:30, you have seen that that lotus flower just got into his full bloom form. And when the evening will there, and when the sun is going away, then it will just get uh, into. And just in reverse, there is one kumud one. You know that kumud flower is there in the night time, uh, just by the moonlight of the moon, it is just getting bloomed. That kumud kumud flower actually just by the light of moon, just by getting the moonlight, it is slowly steadily just getting into bloom form. And when the uh, uh, moon is gone, then it is just uh, getting into uh, unbloom form. So this is the actual glorification of Bhagwan. You will not be having this kind of confidence. But this material world, in this material world also, there is one example I can give you. In this material world, what is that? That in this material world, you can see. You can see. There is one snake. You snake don't snake don't have snake don't have ears. They have their eyes, and with the eyes only, snake actually just doing the work of ears. How means that whatever the vibration of sound actually coming in his eyes, he is actually catching up that vibration, and he can understand who is actually going, what is going on like this. Like by our ears, we are just hearing like in the same manner. Snake is actually doing that. So in this material world, one snake, the other name of snake, snake is Akshishrava. The other name of snake is what? Akshishrava. In this material world, Akshishrava. In Sanskrit, this is a synonym. Akshishrava and snake is one and the same thing. So you can follow that point. So this Akshishrava, why this name has been done? Why? Because this snake, snake can see with his eyes and can hear as well, which is actually out of our practical experience. So what is actually for Bhagwan? How it is a big thing for him? If he can do the work of other sense organs with his other sense organs, it is uh, so. In this manner, our Guru Vag have told about Bhagwan. Bhakti Nath Thakur has told that Bhagwan Nam. That when it is just coming inside our heart, just a flash of that. Uh, with that, everything Bhagwan. By the prakash of Nam, when it is going in all the four directions inside our heart, then everything is Nam, Gon, Parikar, Vaisist, everything will, will get manifested inside our heart. You can see everything. So those who are sahajiyas, those that sahajiya people, they will definitely get die. They will die. This actually he will just get die by this Jeev Goswami Pachro because he is actually speaking opposite. That everything will be done. You can just hear Ras Lila, and you can you just go on hearing everything and earth will go. Uh, but here actually Jeev Goswami Pad actually is going against him. Jeev Goswami Pad speaking, no, it is not like that. They are actually doing preaching all over the world, you see. In this whole material world, they are just preaching negatively, wrongly. Whole world actually, they are just uh, uh, contaminating everything. They are just uh, just for you stool and you just to just to. Just to Take stool and urine on their body. They are just speaking lies. That's it. Here actually it is speaking. Bhakti Thakur speaking. Bhagavad actually speaking. Lot of slokas are there. Keshav Goswami Maharaj has told. 
लॉट ऑफ एक्चुअली प्रूफ्स आर देयर इन भागवती भागवत जी महाभारत इट इज रिटन देयर एवरीथिंग इन चैतन्य चरित अमृत इन चैतन्य भागवत व्हाट महाप्रभु स्पीकिंग व्हाट प्रोपा स्पीकिंग नो बडी एक्चुअली वाज अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस वन दे आर जस्ट प्रीचिंग ऑपोजिट वे नेगेटिवली व्हाट द जीव को स्वामी तत्वाचार्य हैज टोल्ड दैट आवर हार्ट शुड गेट गेट क्लियर फुली देन शुद्ध नाम विल गेट इनसाइड आवर हार्ट व्हेन शुद्ध नाम वी विल बी डूइंग when our heart will be being free from contamination then uh, we will be just getting the adhikar of taking the roop naam abhi bhi samjhane we will get the roop naam means that the bhagwat shlok what i wanted to told and uh, sukhdev goswami just attracted to that and just running after that he has just seen the roop naam uh, bhagwan was not there uh, but when actually that shloka was uh, there heard he was just seeing the swarup of bhagwan inside his heart and just got attracted to that when our heart just got free and just clean fully then shuddh naam will just get manifested inside our heart and automatically slowly steadily that roop naam that roop that roop naam that swarup will just get manifested we will inside the heart and we will just get the opportunity to hear the roop naam of bhagwan and we will just get that adhikar and then that roop will well just get manifest inside our heart oh the man will just see the swarup of bhagwan when we will be seeing the swarup of bhagwan then how that qualities of bhagwan can come if when swarup is manifested inside heart then definitely qualities will get manifested So, 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 so much qualities and characteristics are there of Bhagwan. The automatically, so this light will get manifested inside our heart. And when our Bhagwan, that infinity qualities and characteristic will get inside our heart, then definitely, whatever the Parikar and the Bhagwan, they are non-different. Whatever are their relatives, mother, father, slowly, steadily. when that qualities will get manifested then definitely parikar vaishishtya everything will get revealed in front of us and everything we will see that you can understand and when that parikar vaishishtya gun naam everything is there we can see everything will get manifest in complete swarup we will just see what will happen that bhagwan se su naam roop gun parikar es sammak spuritesh साधन क्रम दैट इज एक्चुअल प्रोसीजन ऑफ साधन शुष्ट मीन्स that regulated in a regulated way in a very fine way without any artificial procedure artificiality ka koi there is no artificiality uh, automatically it will get inside the heart avipratto sadana krama ka avipratto inner meaning that the inner meaning what rupa swami pad has told but this hadiya is actually people speak it you can just hear raslila and uh, you are just hear all sakhi mandri everything will be done automatically they are actually foolish number 1 number 1 sahajiya they are because jeev was my pad has not told this thing and nobody has told bhakti mo thakur has not told that prabhupad has not spoken like this but this they don't have that sampradayik nishtha also sampradayik nishtha they don't have sampradayik nishtha they don't have guru nishtha they are just speaking opposite pura jagat ko cheat actually material world they are cheating to so, dekho aisa baat you hai. can see this point aisa karke so like this if you will just thinking like this then the purification of harinam is top most in fine infinity par hai ye kehna to just uh, speak this harinam ka bare mein the purification of harinam what i am speaking actually it is very important to speak but i am very much uh, afraid that how to discuss this so big discussion is there previously under the guidance of bhakti mohan thakur we were just discussing that in this karma mark so those who all the jeevas who are there in this karma mark everyone is actually distressed unhappy why because with this karma they are not getting the result of this karma karma ke dwara 
by doing karma this uh, there is to cut this karma it is not at all possible to cut this material karma all those bonded souls when they are just uh, in the foreign country varnashram dharm is not there because bharat bhumi is the is the is the karma kshetra is the field of karma actual field of karma only bharat varsh is there that is bharat only why because according to the vedas they are actually just following the shastras and vedas this varnashram dharm is there it is actually just arranged on the basis of the vedas i am not talking about contaminated they have just become hybrid they have become cross breed they have some varnashankar i am not speaking about them because everything is going on nowadays everything is destroyed now i am just want to speak the standard i just want to speak that this varnashram dharm according to the vedas whatever this anushasan they are doing it is dependent on that and when we will be just following that pathway whatever the adhikar of jiva whatever the standard of jivas according to one standard he can just do hari katha kirtan of bhagwan and he will he can get the association according and definitely he will just after doing just karma karma all the time definitely some day will it that Uh, yeah, that uh, transcendental knowledge will come inside his heart. Now he will understand that this world is temporary. For this whole material world, I have just given whole my all my whole life. Nothing is there inside it. He will just get realization. That realization he'll get. The when the when the knowledge transcendental knowledge will be there. Then that this sansar is anitya is temporary. बट दिस जगत एक्चुअली दिस इज ऑफ नो यूज बट मायावादी इज एक्चुअली दिस गुरु वैष्णव एक्चुअली इज आर थिंकिंग यूजफुल दे आर जस्ट फाइंडिंग इन यूजफुलनेस ऑफ भगवत सेवा दे आर फाइंडिंग इट यूजफुल फॉर दैट बाय नॉलेज बाय ज्ञान दे कैन गेट द टॉप मोस्ट top most uh, thing in life that they have just become a big hanuman it is not like that it means that uh, that they have previously they have that narrow conception it will just become more and more wider i will give you one example like uh, you are actually you are just sitting here in uh, some like you are in uh, sitting in calcutta or new delhi you are just uh, sitting in the on the ground and when you are just sitting what you will see you will not see anything uh, here and there but when you will just to be uh, going to kutub minar or you are just going to some monument you will just be seeing everything whole delhi you can see from there so this is just an example i am not speaking that this knowledge actually when it is getting inside you then bhagwan will come inside our i am not uh, i am not speaking that this deep thing when that jnan will come inside his heart then, that this is all maya and everything nothing is there it means that your uh, thinking power is just now becoming wider and wider it is just becoming wider now you are just thinking of future of far distant thing now what will happen in this that maya mein phasne ka chakkar kam you will not get entangled in maya now not get entangled it, it's not like that you will not be in maya i have already seen that even the knowledgeable persons the gyani persons also have just gone into fallen condition so it is not like that when you will become a bhakt you will become a vishuddha bhakt then definitely you will uh, get rectified otherwise bhakti not thakur speaking that when you will be uh, you when you will be discussing knowledge pure gan then definitely they were becoming your atma will become more pure when you will be thinking that this life is of two days only you can understand this point this atma shuddhi will be there and bhagwan also has told in bhagavad gita that atma shuddha can atma shuddhi can be done with uh, gyan and bhakti is that is you will get to that extreme point that is a different uh, thing bhakti is just a hidden thing sabari maiya sabari mother mother shabari actually they those prishi muni has just find fault in her and disrespected and bhagwan just uh, proved that mother shabari is actually more pure than you why 
बिकॉज शबरी मदर शबरी एक्चुअली हैज जस्ट ऑन द वॉट गुरुदेव हैज टोल्ड हिम ऑन दैट ओनली हंड्रेड हंड्रेड ईयर्स थाउजेंड ईयर्स एक्चुअली जस्ट वेंट जस्ट गुरुदेव स्पीकिंग that bhagwan will definitely come whatever the gurudev has told her that you do bhajan definitely ram will come so on that uh, note she was just doing bhajan this shabri actually when ramchandra ji just came there to her place she has just given inside her heart she is just taking uh, lotus feet of ramchandra on to his uh, chest but now actually she is mother no that adhikar is actually limited so because of that this is uh, from long time only very long time so sabri actually just went to one pond and just taking water from there and rishi muni just speaking foul words were oh go from here you are foolish you are taking water from here why you are taking so like this when they are using foul words to sabri mother mother sabri just came from there uh, with a very uh, in- but there is one uh, very surprising thing that the whole water of the pond just become contaminated and the rishi muni actually speaking you just by your touch you see this water has just become has become contaminated now they are just speaking spoken like this it is just of the uh, what time it is that you don't have that uh, thing when gautami rishi actually when gautami rishi actually in the ashram of gautami rishi all those muni rishi just went there just came there because there was some there was no water there is drought no field nothing is there and so muni rishi actually just came to that ashram of gautami rishi and uh, there was actually uh, some uh, shrap there is it is written mahabharat so muni rishi actually just came there and uh, and muni rishi actually and his mother sabri actually she is so pure is actually just ramchandra ji just came there one day and when ramchandra ji just came she was just started crying and after that just he just need some water for to wash his lotus feet and he feel that just to going to pond then the water is not contaminated there so ramchandra ji just told that you just go there to the pond again i just want to wash my feet so then uh, just in order to understand what ramchandra ji told that actually uh, when rishi muni actually were there and just by the what ramchandra ji told she just went to the pond actually just taking the water just by touching that water that pond just becomes so pure so pure that you can't even imagine and all those rishi muni just can't understand how it is possible that we have just uh, spoken foul words to sabri and we have done aparad onto lotus feet of sabri then how it is possible that just by the touch of uh, sabri mother this uh, uh, water just become clear just like pure like her so it is yeah this knowledge actually can make you pure but to some extent if you will do a lot and you will like mayavadi you will become you will become mayavadi everything will be destroyed so okay you can just discuss knowledge that anukul gyan what is good for you that good knowledge you bhagwan has just given respect to that that is why anukul anukul gyan in gita also bhagwan has uh, given respect to this as already told that gyan ka sadesh is kuch uh, apart from gyan nothing is pure gyan is top most pure and what is that gyan that sambandh gyan is the top most pure that i am a bhagwan and bhagwan is mine that is the top most uh, pure uh, gyan bhagwan ka seva ka and uh, in in this connection that uh, serving mood is also attached with that gyan so this kind of gyan we need so that's why it is uh, pure otherwise this kind of gyan is not at all pure bhakti no thakur has uh, i have already told previously yesterday also whatever whatever you are doing what is the net outcome bhagwan has already told in gita as well sarvan karman akhidam parto gane parishama sabko karma jo hai all the karma what you are doing ultimately ultimately all going to be stored inside your heart as gyan koi bhi kya kar whatever you are doing whatever karm you are doing maybe good or bad 
that gyan that it will come in the form of experience inside your heart so that atma gyan what i am actually speaking that is the topmost thing if it will be done that atma actually is uh, uh, is different from a material thing atma has no connection with this material world it is just like a it is just like that thing atma is just is chinmay and it has no connection with this material world but still actually is fallen why and just because of uh, agyan that jeev maya has just got into this maya just by the prabhav of maya that jeev maya still is chinmay but still but infinity time he is just going on this pathway of karma material karma he is just going on to that pathway You see, in this kirtan, have you have done this kirtan? No, you haven't. So in this all kirtan is there very beautiful. And when uh, in this karma mark, in chetanya ke damrit also it is written. What it is written? Sadhu Sang Satsang, then everything is getting reversed. So this Gyan actually, the Prabhav of Gyan is so much. Just by discussing Gyan, slowly, steadily, slowly, steadily, at least he has that Bhav inside, that Bhava should come inside our heart, that I am not this material thing. I have no connection with this material world. I am actually Chitvastu, I am Chinmay. So this kind of Gyan is positive Gyan. So this Gyan, when it is going to that stage, that Jiva is going to that, that I am, I am Chitvastu, I have no connection with this material world, then still I have just taken this body. It is important, if, if I will not take this body, it is important where you will go. And if this Gyan, this knowledge actually just getting manifested inside your heart, in Nesh Karma, karma, nesh karma Bhav, there is no Prabhav of Karma inside your heart. Because then Karma will just get wider inside our heart. Definitely we have to take birth and death again and again. In this cycle will be just be going on. So this Karma actually... This Prabhav of Karma will definitely go on, but when you will just go to that stage, that you will understand that I am not at all material, I am Chid Vastu, I am transcendental. And this kind of Gyan definitely will uh, take, it, take us out from this Karma mark. That's why actually this Chid Vastu is uh, Nitya Vastu. This chid aswadan, aswadan of the chid vastu, then we can't get established in that when we have that relation with this karma, material karma. So in this stage, in this condition, where the person will go, it will go to that absolute uh, stage. Definitely, I will be speaking. I have told it previously. Yesterday, when actually you will get that Niranjan Gyan, the Niranjan knowledge, all the time knowledge, you are getting that I am not this material body, I am actually Chinmay at that time. That then actually, if that you are against that Bhav of Bhagwan, if he is actually against the Bhav of Bhagwan. Then it is not at all good. Whatever Niranjan Gyan you have contamin uh, collected, if you have that contamination of uh, 
but there is actually no karma in that in the ranjan gyan there is no contamination of matter in that that is not at all good at that time so i have already told previously yesterday like how sukhdev goswami and navyogendra and chatushan all have actually have just that the param chetan hari they have just taken shelter and they have just uh, realized and they have the, realized that power inside hari that you can't even imagine that this atma ram who if he is not in a situation in a condition to do any kind of karma when it is going to that stage but still in this stage also that atmaram condition in that condition also atmaram that atmaram condition inside our heart there is one atmosphere created one environment is created inside the heart that we don't have to do anything nishkarma so in this situation in this condition atma me atma definitely he will be just feeling uh, attraction for atma only and externally he don't have uh, don't he is not seeing anything outside he is all the time happy in his atma that's why in sanskrit it is written it, it means that those who are actually finding uh, happiness blissfulness in atma and externally they are not uh, enjoying uh, anything in this material world they are not going running after that that is called atma you can understand this what is atma ram atma ram ka mane kya hai what do you mean by atma ram okay this is actually this atma ram actually they don't have granthi they have no contamination of maya inside their heart but still they are actually getting attraction to bhagwan so much prabhav of bhagwan is there still they will just kick their atmaram bhav and they are just glorifying the hari naam sankirtan of bhagwan all the time they are serving bhagwan that's why mahaprabhu actually this on this shloka atparam shloka he was actually discussing giving 18 kind of different meanings to sarvam bhattacharya on this he was just giving that taste of 18 different kind of meanings and with sanatan goswami is giving 64 different kind of meanings on this atmaram verse and now you can understand that each and every from different different angles actually mahaprabhu is explaining this shloka and is to sanatan goswami sanatan actually this atmaram means this atma what is atma shabd what you is ram what is ch why you are using ch who is muneo who is granthi nirgranthi and how what do you mean by op who is what is urukram what is uh, what is ahetuki all this actually what is bhakti so like this mahaprabhu speaking to sanatan goswami so like this actually almost 64 kind different kind of meaning mahaprabhu is explaining to sanatan goswami so that param chaitanya param chetan vastu what we it is already written in upanishad about that nitto nityanam chetano chetananam ek bahunam jo vidhati kamam so this shlok actually written in uh, vedas whatever nitya vastu permanent vastu there out of the all the nitya vastu different in infinity nitya vastu out of that that param nitya vastu is that all the form param chetan vastu is the param chetan vastu who is all the time is there inside all the jeevatma whatever the wishes of jeevatma they is they are just uh, here to just uh, fulfill their own wishes they are one but still they are different but this is achintya veda ve tatva by that achintya veda ve tatva bhagwan is actually bhagwan is actually is, uh, is uh, one and different from all the jeevas different simultaneously different and non different from bhagwan everything is each and everything is Like this. So that Param Chetan Hari, this kind of uh, Prabhav is there inside him. 
the name of Bhagwan, so much attraction is there that all the uh, those who are Chadamukta Jeevatmas inside their heart also they are uh, having attraction for that and they are just running for that Hari Nam. They are feeling that attraction towards Nam. So now actually I will be just uh, having this vichar. I have already just uh, discussed in English Katha as well. That without doing anything, Jeev can't, can't stay. Maybe some good or bad, we will do something. That Jeeva. And according to the Vedas, he is uh, following the Anushasan. He is following the rules and regulation. Definitely he will get some Mangal. Something is better than nothing. So definitely he will go somewhere in the forward direction. And if he will just get Sadhu Sangha, then he can understand. At least he will just, Parnashramdam he should follow. And he can just, according to his own Adhikar, what he has, he can just work on that. And uh, he can just uh, uh, do the Chintan of Bhagwan. And slowly, steadily, he that Gyan will just get manifested inside his heart. And that Gyan will just uh, under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav, that Bhakti will get manifested. So this Varnashram procedure uh, definitely is very very pra practical and scientific system. By this system, following that, every Pondit Jiva according to his own Adhikar can get manifested and can go forward in the way of Bhakti. Definitely he will get Mangal, otherwise not. So... Well, after that what happened that this uh, after doing this all that Gyan what is Gyan? Gyan is Gyan in the Nishkarm Rup Bhav that Nishkarm Rup Bhav that definitely Gyan will just uh, produce that that he is definitely there to just throw that when he is getting that uh, Bhakti Sadhan when he is all the time doing Bhakti with serving mode then definitely he will throw that uh, karma and Gyan definitely then karma and Gyan are the Sadhanang I will just be speaking carefully be, be careful about this point what I am speaking when some, some Sat Karma or Sat Prakash somebody is doing and, and with Nishkarm Bhav he was actually just throwing that Nishkarm Bhav and he is just getting into Bhakti Bhav doing all the time Bhakti then Karma and Gyan can be used as Sadhananga limb of Sadhan then only they can be considered when that material Karma he is just kicking and throwing it away and he is just getting uh, uh, when he is getting a very nice uh, arrangement and surprisingly what happened you can't understand what I am speaking that person that person he is actually used to do the kitchen now today actually what happened one some sadhu came today that Vishuddha Brahman actually came never no sadhu has come to his house now what happened actually there is Bhagavan's Harikatha and Prasadam is there he has given that and like this 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 karma has just come and when then Gyan has just uh, when we are just uh, throwing that Nishkarma Bhav from our heart and he is just uh, getting established in that Bhakti Bhava then only then that Karma and Gyan then you can speak that it's Sadhan there is only one uh, person who is cooking that uh, cook he was just uh, getting some money from that cook he has just now come in the mud he is doing kitchen in the mud and he is not taking any money now his karm has now become has become the limb of bhakti before it was not the limb of bhakti maybe some mayavadi there are a lot of examples he has just gone to madhav goswami maharaj but in Vindama. and after that what happened there are a lot of uh, example parvat maharaj was getting changed and he was just uh, in, told that he was just getting Vimal Gyan, that Shuddha Gyan, that actual Gyan just got manifested. And after that, he just became Vaishnav. After that, he became Vaishnav. So, this actually, this Karma, with the Nishkarma Roop, 
this nishkarma bhav just to get rid of that when definitely uh, it will help us in doing bhakti sadhan definitely we can understand this gyan will become a sadhana it will become a sadhana so all these people actually in a, personally they are actually this gyan actually and karma if you were thinking this then this karma and gyan in personally if you think they, they don't have power individually just with bhakti only they are getting that power whatever the sadhana when you are going into the gyan mark and you are doing sadhana that is not at all possible to take that so that gyan and karma actually it can be considered in sadhana when it is anukulya bhakti so individually in nirapeksha roop in nirapeksha roop without the help of bhakti they can't get that sadhana anga they, they don't be having that sadhana definitely they will not get siddhi at all in that that's why for bhakti is bhakti is called sadhan without bhakti the other than bhakti other gyan karm they are not at all sadhan okay they are doing that's it can't do anything so gyan and karm personally they don't have that much power in them they don't have that power in them so that's why bhakti is the only sadhan anga and just by taking the ashray of bhakti and karma and gyan they have just taken the ashray of bhakti then it can be called sadhan but but bhag bhakti is actually naturally is uh, the sadhan anga that's why bhagwan actually krishna bhagwan speaking
topmost and smaran is the most chief things important things that is the topmost sadhanang i have already told that shravan kirtan and smaran they are all interrelated to each other i have already told that in previous hari katha that shravan kirtan and smaran all are interrelated to each other why because without smaran i can't uh, do the naam gan kirtan of bhagwan and without doing the naam kirtan of bhagwan i can't uh, get the uh, i can't get the uh, i can't do shravan and my heart is going some different place then i can't do smaran as well so you just see everything is interrelated to each other shravan kirtan and smaran everything is interrelated and that is the topmost chief sadhana भगवान नाम गुण लीला ऑल दीज फोर चीफ थिंग्स आर कैन बी डन बाय श्रवण कीर्तन एंड स्मरण इट इज पॉसिबल टू जस्ट कैच देम इन चीजों में एंड इन दीज थिंग्स नाम इज द टॉप मोस्ट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस व्हाट एवर श्लोक आई टोल्ड आई विल डेफिनेटली स्पीक इन डिटेल टुमारो this shloka actually in this naam is called adi uh, maybe in the latest science also the research going on the nasa actually speaking that from 25 to 40 years back he has just done the research and just given the conclusion that this material world this whole creation it is just done by low amount of frequency that is coming from one shabd this omkar like om ka it is just come from some word venu naam there are actually it is just venu naam like vamshi dhvani it is come from the, just came from a low amount of sound that frequency this world is created the scientists have just uh, uh, come on to this conclusion so this sadhan actually uh, me like uh, this shravanam kirtanam and smaranam i have just given this proof of that that they are all interrelated to each other yes definitely they are interrelated to each other so this shravan kirtan and smaran only by this only we can just uh, by bhagwan's naam roop gun leela everything will get manifested gradually inside our heart and out of this bhagwan naam is the top most and it is the root of all the everything it is the root of everything infinity creation it is a seed of all the uh, naam is everything bhakti mata pur actually speaking that shri hari naam is a upasana ka mool hai is the mool of all the upasana Before, without naam, if you are doing some kitchen, nothing will happen. That's why in the shastra it is written. In this kadi kal, without hari naam, there is no mangal me pathway apart to to deliver all the wanted givers. in the other yugas also hari naam is the top most effective sadhana alag alag yug mein and in different different yugas alag alag yug mein bhi bhagwan ka effective bhagwan the effective sadhana is can be naam and it has been there also but still in kalika it is uh, important because jeev is very weak he don't have anything to do everything is contaminated only naam is top most is pure that's why in kalika naam is the top most and there is no other way for all the jeevas for this kali yug no other way no alternative kali ka kali ka na chali the iska bare mein bahut sare praman there are lot of examples regarding this i will just be showing you that how actually it jamil got by naam abasi just got delivered and um, mahaprabhu actually have just uh, how he is actually doing charcha with the bhaida stabu devel extensive uh, uh, charcha about this that hari naam and hari are not different from each other when this uh, realization is coming that uh, my gurudev and bhagwan is not different and gurudev vishnu uh, and bhagwan naam is all different non different then definitely 
you can just uh, realize the prabhav of naam slowly and steadily to jo bhi hai so whatever is there hare naam hare naam hare naam hi ko kevalam karu na seva na seva na seva kiran jo sakun kati so apart from him nothing is there no other sadhanang is there and there are there are we are already discussing about this point it is already written there kriti jo thayato vishnu satya yuge jo dhyan ke dwara in satya yuga what we get by dhyan and in kriti jo thayato vishnu and in treta yuga and in treta yuga what we treta yuga mein jo ko ke dwara what we get by yagya aur
how actually he is doing tapas here, what he has taken, nothing he has taken in morning, he has just taken some in the before going into the frozen water he has taken some uh, hot hot milk and all the time all the day he is doing tapasya and his hand just laughing so he, there is no, so good arrangement about bhagwan just do lot of take, take prasadam and just uh, do naam sankirtan and what he is doing now <laughs> cold water is going and he is just doing so he is so actually so straight pathway just to do hari naam kirtan and just not to do naam not to do aparad at all that's that's it not to do aparad at all whatever guru vishnu doing just take lot of prasadam and just do anand so straight pathway so straight pathway actually it is that is the most easiest way shown by mahaprabhu but we don't want to do that that is the most easiest way mahaprabhu has told but we don't want to do that he will do tapasya he will do that he will do that What actually you will get? It is no no value, Ma Prabhu speaking. Ma Prabhu actually spoken something else that some kirtan is the topmost. Every time while for sleeping, walking, drinking, whatever, wherever you are in which condition. All the time you have to do Naam Sankirtan. All the time you have to do Naam Sankirtan, and you just have to take your heart inside the lotus feet of Bhagwan. That is the topmost sadha. That is the topmost thing. Definitely, I will be discussing it tomorrow more. And today, I will just be giving uh, rest today. This Hari Naam Chintamani actually. This is actually ocean of infinity. I am just a very small fish in this. so where i will just uh, go so oh, this is the only way so up till today i will just give rest and tomorrow i will just uh, i will just be making efforts by the grip of guru vishnu that how rupa swami path he is written this dusi nirajito pad pang janto ai mukt kuli rupa samanam parisasam hari naam sansrahami kyu bataya why he rupa swami path to lekin sruti mol rakta kyu Why? Definitely, I'll be talking about uh, tomorrow. And today, I will just be just giving uh, rest today.